So let's take a look at uh, some uh, game bandwidth calculations and how they apply to practical circuits. So I have uh, two circuits here, a non-inverting amplifier and an inverting amplifier. And uh, I'm going to perform some closed loop bandwidth calculations for different values of their signal gain. And of course, the signal gain for a non-inverting amplifier, ACL, is equal to 1 plus R2 over R1. Whereas for the inverting amplifier, the signal gain will be uh, negative R2 over R1. Uh, they both share the same um, noise gain as we have previously seen. So the noise gain for, an, for a non-inverting amp is also 1 plus R2 over R1. And the noise gain for the inverting amplifier is 1 plus R2 over R1. Uh, so essentially we could say in the case of the non-inverting amplifier, uh, the noise gain is equal to the closed loop gain. And for the inverting amplifier, we could express the noise gain as 1 plus uh, the absolute value of the closed loop signal gain. Uh, and let's imagine that these are 741 op amps that I'm using, which have a transition frequency of 1 megahertz or 10 to the 6 hertz. And uh, we're going to perform closed bandwidth calculations for uh, different values of gain. And of course, the closed loop bandwidth we have just seen, uh, bandwidth uh, sub CL for closed loop, can be expressed as the unity gain frequency or transition frequency divided by the closed loop gain. But as we have seen, it's uh, more appropriate to say the noise gain. So I'm just going to write K7. I'm, go I'm going to say. Um, what the results could be in either case. Um, so in the case of the non-inverting amplifier, uh, let's imagine that we have uh, three scenarios. Let's imagine first we have a signal gain of uh, 100. Uh, second scenario is going to be a signal gain of 10. And the last scenario is going to be a signal gain of 1. And so in the case of my non-inverting amplifier, if I have a, a gain of a signal gain of 100, then uh, my noise gain is also going to be 100, and therefore my bandwidth is going to be equal. My closed loop bandwidth I'm referring to is going to be equal to um, my open loop, uh, my transition frequency, excuse me, which is 10 to the 6, divided by my noise gain, which is 100, and so it's going to be a bandwidth of 10 kilohertz in this case. In my second scenario, my noise gain is also going to be 10, my closed loop bandwidth, through a similar calculation, 10 to the 6 divided by 10, it's going to be a little bit larger, 100 kilohertz, 10 times larger, and then finally, uh, for, the, for the case of the closed loop gain of 1, my noise gain is also 1, and uh, my closed loop bandwidth It's going to be 10 to the 6 divided by 1, which is 1 megahertz. Now let's look at the case of the inverting amplifier. And let's imagine that I have uh, the same three scenarios. So scenario A, I have my closed loop gain. In this case, it will have to be negative 100. Scenario B, I will have negative 10. And scenario C, I will have negative 1. Of course, my noise gain is always going to be, uh, you know, 1 plus R2 over R1 or 1 plus the absolute value of ACL. So in the first case, my noise gain is 101. Second case, noise gain is um, 11. And in my last case, my noise gain is 2. So when I do my calculations, my closed loop bandwidth in the first case is going to be 10 to the 6 divided by 101. Uh, which is still approximately uh, 10 kilohertz, around 9.9, .9, so 9.9 .9 kilohertz. In my second case, my uh, closed loop gain is 10 to the 6 over 11, which is about uh, 90 kilohertz, 90.9. .9. And finally, the last one, my closed loop gain is 10 to the 6 divided by 2, which is 500 kilohertz. And so notice the difference. Notice that for high values of ACL, um, the inverting and non-inverting amplifier have essentially uh, the same bandwidth 
uh, for the same value, same absolute value of signal gain. Um, as my signal gain becomes lower, um, the bandwidth of my inverting amplifier starts to decrease with respect to the one of the non-inverting amplifier. And finally, when I reach a gain of one, uh, the bandwidth is half for the inverting amplifier than for the non-inverting amplifier. And, you know, that's just one important thing to remember, that the bandwidth of uh, an inverting amplifier is typically going to be lower than that of a non-inverting amp. Um, but also notice that if I am using uh, the approximate expression of unity gain frequency is equal to closed-loop signal gain times closed-loop signal bandwidth, bandwidth, uh, then as long as my closed loop gain is high, I'm typically not incurring a large error, but as my closed loop gain decreases, um, I'm making more of an error by using the closed loop gain as opposed to the noise gain. And so I'm going to write here, you know, um, approximation valid for ACL much greater than one. Um, otherwise, again, we need to, to replace that uh, open loop signal gain with the noise gain. Um, and that's it. Next, we're going to take a look at um, other things that get affected by bandwidth, such as uh, rise time. Thank you.